So which one out of these hand warmers is the best? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for. So we have highlighted a list of pros and cons on what is important to us. So the battery is really convenient. It's the cheapest out of all the options. All you have to do is just switch it on. It's good for walks or if you're waiting somewhere. So that's why we leave it in the car. But the negative about this is, is that it only lasts three hours and it takes about an hour or more to charge. So the next one is the liquid chemical hot snaps. This one is easy to use, just click a button and it gets heat instantly. Um, it also has a good heat retention, like if your hands are really, really cold and you put that on, it'll just keep your hands warm and it won't suck all the heat out of it. Also, it's, we keep, it's good for injuries, like if your back sore, you put it on. We keep this in our medical kit and next to the bed. Um, the negatives about this is that it only lasts for 30 minutes and you have to put it in hot water for it to reset and that takes some time. So the dry chemicals, these ones are really comfortable and convenient. They're good if you're going on like a ski trip, you can put them in your gloves, keep your hands warm, or put it next to your cell phone so the battery can stay warm and doesn't die. Um, also what's good about these is that you just have to shake them and they turn on so you don't have to recharge them or anything. The bad thing is, is that this has really bad heat retention. So when you put your hands on, it'll suck the heat out instantly. And the temperature is the same temperature of your body, so it's not very hot. It also, um, it only lasts eight hours. You can't recharge these. You shake it, and once it's out of the bag, then it starts the eight hours. And these are the most expensive in the long run. The lighter fluid heaters have the longest duration of all. These are great for working outside and in cold conditions. When we filled these all up to 15 ml, the Zippo lasted 8 hours, the Peacock lasted 10 hours, and the S Boston lasted 11 hours. The S Boston also is the second hottest. It has um, a heat greater than 46 degrees Celsius. And the cool thing about the S Boston is that it has ability to be turned on and off whenever you want by just clicking the button or flipping it around. So the only negatives about these is that it has a slight fluid smell and the fuel inside is flammable and the bad thing is these two you need a lighter to light. So if you're going on a walk somewhere you have to bring a lighter if you're going to be using these. The solid coal fuel. The good things about this one is that it's the hottest one overall. It has the best heat retention what I mean by that is when you put your hands on, it doesn't suck the heat. The heat just stays there and it keeps your hands warm. This is great for working in extreme conditions. The negatives about this is that it only lasts for four hours. There's a limited place to buy the cold sticks inside. It takes a while to get this going and it has a stronger smell than the liquid ones. So to summarize this up, here is our data chart. Feel free to pause and review. So based on what we just showed you, these are our favorite hand warmers. Number one, the S Boston. Number two, the Cole hand warmer. And number three, the Peacock. Hope this helped on your choice for hand warmers. Heavenly Father, thank you for this amazing day. Thank you for helping people make similar videos like this and helping the people watching. Yeshua's name, Amen. So until next time, keep smiling.